Hey everyone, and you're watching Who's Your Anime? In the year 2019, in the city of Cyberwood, there is a man named John Stalker, a researcher who is using a new experimental armor that was created by his girlfriend, Layla. Lark, okay? Okay, hurry up. We're getting close, people. Layla, we got a call from the CEO. I'll take it. Beginning, final check. Does make the data and bring estimate output up to level... You all set, John? Yeah. You're the star of this test, John. Good luck. Oh boy. There they go at it again. Ooh. Ooh. Fringe benefits, huh, John? I envy you, pal. Adler. Please forgive me, but I do have some small interest in this project. I wanted to see your new guard suit in action myself firsthand. Ignoring your interests. This will finally show the Alpha Project Committee that it works. Yeah, that's right, Adler. Now we finally have a way to save cancer from itself. But unfortunately, the experimental fails, and all of a sudden, John was kidnapped by a mysterious cult. That brings him to the slums of Cyber City called Cancer. You see, apparently, they found out that John has supernatural power. Now the cult transforms him into a demonic killing machine called Saldo. And it is up to his girlfriend Layla to bring him back or else a man named Adler will end up killing him. What we need is love. Only by love will cancer be saved. So this is a supernatural mecha anime directed by Koichi Ohada who worked on animes like Ikitosen and Burst Angel. This anime has everything that a B-movie horror fan could want. An evil cult who wants to destroy the world. And it comes included with ultraviolence. And like my friend JD would say, how could this possibly fail? Well, it's actually a less than an hour long anime which is where it pretty much fails. The story of this anime is pretty much your good guy turned bad guy turning back to good guy storyline. Where the characters and the location's backstory is really just minimal. Not to mention that there are some cool unfinished plots which I really wish they could have finished and put it into this anime. Also, the ultra-violent scenes were actually kind of cool, but it's unfortunate that there's not a lot of action that brings into the ultra-violence. As for the characters, pretty much most of the characters play their role nicely. All but one. You see, there is this character called Adler, and he's the villain of this anime. Now, there is this character called Adler, who hates John, and he hates him for the stupidest reasons. Not to mention he does the stupidest things to get stupidly killed. I mean, even with that stupid haircut that could probably fit two brains. He is a character with no intelligence, and in all honesty, I don't think that he even has to be there at all. Blessed be he! <laughs> I found you, John. John. How dare you try to deceive me? You cancer scum. 
Now I'll pay you back for doing it. The animation was just okay, especially for a late 80s anime. I mean, compared to Vampire Hunter D and Fist of the North Star, it's a one-up. Just a one-up. I mean, sure, it's not the best quality, but it does okay. Unfortunately, when it comes to the character Adler, I just really hate his hair design. I mean, I've seen a better hairdo on Paul Phoenix from Tekken that looks more intimidating than his. The feds are counting on the Alpha Project to clean up that waste. But Layla's bleeding heart plan isn't the way. It allows the possibility of those destructive elements surviving into the city's future. The Astonite Guardian, as shown previously in the slides. For that reason, I cannot allow this test to succeed. The voice acting for both English and Japanese dub is, um, well, um, well, all I have to say is that the Japanese dub actually is a better dub than the English dub. I mean, for one thing, the actors in the Japanese dub really knew what they were doing. As for the English dub, oh my god. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I mean, I mean, the English dub, it's just... Uh. I mean, what is wrong with these actors? I mean, did they read one of those... English dub acting for dummies? Because if they did, I think they already read the whole freaking book. Everybody sounded so dumb, it almost made me want to burst into laughter every 10 seconds. It's just laughably bad. Freeze. <laughs> Stop right there. Don't even try and breathe. Okay, that's a good boy. What's your name? John Stalker. Central Guard Company. R researcher. Okay, John. Don't give me any trouble. Hey, where did he go? The music in the Sammy isn't too bad. I mean, there's some soft music and then there's this rock music that really brings out the evil in this anime, and it's kind of cool. <laughs> the fool's punishment has begun. I recognize you now. So, now you remember me. The one scientist who opposed the release of the Astonite formula 20 years ago. Not. 20 years ago, Miss Layla. Are you aware that man has known of Astonite since the Middle Ages? Dr. Vox. In the end, Cybernetic Garden is a nice ultra-violent anime to pass the time, but it really lets its guard down by being in less than an hour, and they could have done so much more with this anime. So, that's my review of Cybernetic Guardians. I give this anime a 2 out of 5. See ya!